assalamu alaikum i am dr sayed ali mardan azmi welcome to my channel in this lecture we will learn how we can evaluate iterated chapter integrals for this purpose we will learn exercise 15.5 question number 14 from thomas kelfer's 12th edition book first the question or integral given here is limit from 0 to 2 for variable y limits for minus square root of 4 minus y square root to 4 minus y square square root for variable x limit from 0 to 2x plus y for variable c in triple integrals we have three kinds of variable the variable which is written in the most inner side is called inner variable then variable in the middle is called central variable and the variable in the end is called outer variable we will always start the process of integration with respect to most inner variable then on the outcomes of inner variable integration of inner variable we will apply rule of integration with respect to central variable after completing the process of integration with respect to central variable we will apply rules of integration on the outcomes of centered variable with respect to outer variable so from here First of all, we will start the process of integration with respect to z, then with respect to x, and then with respect to y. One more thing, the limits of inner and central variable may be constant, may be variable, but the limits of most outer variable are always constant. So after learning these basic things, we can start the process of integration. Integration of dz is simply z for the limit 0 to 2x plus y. In the next step, we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit. So, after fundamental theorem of calculus, we have 2x plus y minus 0. And this completes the process of integration with respect to z, that is our most inner variable. In the next step, we have to apply integration with respect to x. But before going for that, we must revise this example. If we have to integrate 3x plus 5, with respect to x, how we can do it? Its answer is 3x square over 2 plus 5x plus c. How this answer comes? If a constant term is being multiplied with a variable term, the constant term remains as it is, and we will apply integration on the variable term, just like on this 3x. 3 remain as it is, and rules of in integration are being implemented on x. Whereas, if there is a constant term which is being added or subtracted in a function in the process of integration, we will integrate it as 5x. What it means, we will associate the variable with respect to which we are performing the integration and plus c, which is the constant of integration. So, we will apply similar concept here. With respect to x, with respect to x, y is constant so we will perform the integration as 2 remain as it is integration of x is x square by 2 plus y is constant just like 5 here so integration of y is xy for the given limits minus square root of 4 minus y square root 2 square root of 4 minus y square whole square root in the next step we will apply limits by using fundamental theorem of calculus upper limit minus lower limit for upper limit we have replaced x with upper limit minus and for lower limit we have replaced x with lower limit now in the first term look over here square and square root will cancel out and similarly here square and square root will cancel out also this minus become positive because the square of negative minus one is plus one so making the simplification, we have 4 minus y square plus square root of 4 minus y square into y minus 4 minus y square minus square root of 4 minus y square y. Opening up the brackets, from here you see this plus 4 is being cancelled out with this minus 4. This minus y square is being cancelled out with this y square. So we are left with only 4 minus y square whole square into y and 4 minus y square whole square into y. 1 plus 1 becomes 2. 
In the next step, we will perform the integration. In order to perform the integration, please note that we are going to apply this formula here. What is this formula? If the derivative of the term inside the power is available here as a multiplier, then we will add one in the power of the brackets and then divide with the same term. So the integration of f of x is to power n into f dash of x, where f dash is the derivative of f of x dx is f of x is to power n plus power n plus one plus c. So in this step, we will apply this formula. So we have integration of this whole term as four minus y square whole power one by two plus one over one by two plus one for the limits zero to two. In the next step, making the simplification, 1 by 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2. So here 2 is the third order denominator. We can shift it in the numerator as minus 2 by 3. And in the same step, we have applied the limits, upper limit minus lower limit. Making the simplification, we have minus 4 raised to power 3 by 2. We can split this power as 4 raised to power 1 by 2, whole power 3. 4 raised to power 1 by 2 means square root of 4 is 2. And then power 3, 2 raised to power 3. 2 raised to power 3 is 8. So 8 multiplied by 2 is 16. 16 over 3 is our answer. I hope you will learn this concept and you will understand this question. Please like, subscribe, and share this content with your friends. Thank you so much for watching this video. Allah Hafiz.